so maybe in your case so this you know based on what you told us very important mm. to for to have formation with the parents mm. first i think you know maybe you can do formation with the parents for them to understand their children so that the children will never feel so at loss mm. you know maybe because the youth are the future if this is always the excuse that they have to set aside jesus but rather you know look for their personal interest first maybe the catholic will just dwindle here you know mm. so in your case you need to have consultant with them you know? <laughs> don't you think it's very nice you learn mm. from them mm. and then because there should be a personal encounter with mm. each youth what is their concern what is their problem then you can ask them you know mm. to be with them mm. to listen and maybe the parents first so that this kind of uh, problem will be eliminated little by little. It's not very easy because each mm. family has their mm. own outlook of life. We cannot mm. meddle. This is their internal problem. Mm. But for the faith to become alive, sometimes we need, you know, mm. to get involved also to understand. Sometimes listening is very important. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so, Winnie? Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what is your suggestion, you know? So, but, but in your case, you know, maybe what do you think will be the solution in your case when you encounter all these kind of youth problems? In your personal opinion, mm, for me, I always um, advise the young people to, how say, to discern by themselves. Yes, uh, the social pressure is one thing. Yes, when your classmates all go to cram schools, yes, you can join them or you can go to the church first and then join them later. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's very nice, no? they should give a little bit idea, maybe your message, you know, especially now you know your problems here in, in, in Taipei, you know, the mm. youth problem. So what will be your message? Let's say you are talking to the universal youth, what will be your message to them? Um, what will be your message to them? Thinking you are talking to the Taiwanese youth, mm. you know, the Filipino youth, because this is very universal. Yeah? I would like to um, I would like to encourage the young people to seek God first. Yes, we are facing a very challenging and very competitive competitive uh, society right now. But uh, there are uh, different ways that we can still follow God. Yes, we can be a good worker, we can be a good uh, young professional, we can be a young student. But before that, can we be a, we, we just learn to be a good Christian first. Mary, any message you'd like to share? Um, I would like to share as a housewife, listen and be patient. And that's very important, uh, especially as a companion with uh, our own children and the support of our husband yeah and uh, gather the family together eat together share together and share the same story around the table they will be very beautiful yeah and joseph yeah okay uh i will say to the young people okay uh trust god rely on god and believe in god and uh, that is fundamental and we see it and always keep it keep it in mind and no, no other challenge can beat you. You can overcome everything. Mm -hmm. Napakaganda ng sharing na ating guest no na si Joseph, Mary and Winnie. So dito makikita natin you know a happy family life is very important. So dapat pala it's a lesson from all of us kahit saan po no hindi lang sa Pilipino, sa Taiwanese o sa mga Amerikano, European, what is important you mold them very young. So kung kayo po ay naniniwala sa Dios, bring them to the church as early as you can because paglaki nila nagkakaroon sila ng confidence, nagkakaroon sila ng tiwala. Sabi ni Joseph, kaya naman ang mga bata, kung may confidence at may pagtitiwala sa Diyos, kahit anong problema, nasusolve po nila yon. So, the family, the parents should always be very supported. Aside from God, kailangan dun po sila. Sabi ni Mary, a good housewife also has to listen. Kailangan po, very supported sa husband niya. Pero, kahit anong mangyari, sometimes sabi niya, tatlong misa ang kanyang inaaten kasi bawat isa sa kanila, sa mga anak nila, iba-ibang you know, uh, oras, pero andun siya parati, very supportive. So this is also calling to the Filipino 
uh, family, housewife na importante po ang personal, yung encounter ninyo sa Lord together with your family. At si Winnie, sabi niya maraming problema ang mga kabataan dito, yung competitiveness nila, matapos ang kanila edukasyon. Sometimes, you know, family pressure, di ba? Kaya ang Diyos raw, nasiset aside, which is also very similar to our country, pero very confident siya na pag tayo po ay naniniwala, may Diyos sa ating buhay, ma lahat po ito ay maiibsan. Sana this episode will remind us that, you know, what is important is for all of us, whatever nationality we are, to put God above all. Sana nagustuhan po ninyo aming episode hanggang sa muli dito po sa programa ng Power Tonight with Elvira. <music>